right, YouTube fellas. Today we have a special treat for you guys. Today I'm gonna get naked. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no one wants to see that. <laughs> Today we have the top 10 specials in Dragon Ball. It's a whole new patch. The last one I did was last year in February. And you know what? Whoever edits this video, can you like run through what I said the top 10 specials and if I had honorable mentions what they are in the last video? Because a lot of shit has changed. A lot. A lot. Some of those specials uh, aren't even gonna be in here. The results may surprise you. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with number 10 and work our way to number one, right? So number 10, we have Roshi, all right? You're probably wondering, what is this decrepit, pervy old man doing on my screen? Well, he's about to be fucking lewd, all right? He's about to be very provocative, okay? What do you mean by that? My man's gonna put his balls in your face. That's what I mean by that, okay? He literally puts his nuts on your chin. You know, what is this move called? I call it the splits. But I actually don't... Damn, the alt tab? I actually don't know what it's called. Jumping splits. I... Why am I surprised? Anyways, you're probably wondering, why am I putting this move with... It's number 10, but there's a bunch of other stuff. Alright, so for starters, this move is an anti-air. Right? He's clearly, as you can see... He beats Cell. He has the blue aura around him, right? Not just that, but for some reason, it's also a low crush on frame one. So it says if its ability is low attack, but it never mentions that it's a frame one anti air. That, that, but it gets better. Yo, Roshi can combo after it, right? If I was good at the game. Right, you Roshi you can combo, you know, do mad damage, you know. And build bar back. But wait, it gets better because you can actually do this instead. Oh, whoops, I did the wrong sequence. And with the new buff, he got the Thunder Shock, right? He now did 6.4k on a defensive move that's a low crush. And a frame one anti air, but wait, there's more. <laughs> You're probably thinking a move that good has to be punishable, right? No, it's negative five. And you know, what could he do off of this? Because it's negative five. My man can flip out, all right, he can flex on you with his pictorials, okay? It's insane to me. He has these options, and nobody was like, man, you know what, that's crazy, he should be able to do that. No. So, this would be never 10 on my list, for all the reasons I gave you. It leads to simple TLDs, right? Obviously, I'm not a Roshi player, the combo's not optimal, but the fact that even me can do this much damage... Oh. I messed up, don't look at me, bro. You get the point. I can do 6.4k without practicing Roshi. Now imagine if I was a Roshi master. Oh my god, I keep missing this. Don't look at me, bros. Ugh. <gasps> I missed. You get the point. Oh, it smokes grabs too. Yeah, you're right. You might have to be airborne. Or does this catch you in the air? You have to be airborne already. So it's a little bit of an asterisk. But it can beat grabs. Oh, a cell's built different? No, okay. You, you have to be airborne. Which is probably like four frames. Eight might be eight. He got J2L, that's a ground bounce, so he gets. Oh, yeah, and he can extend more because of. But, anyways, point being is you get all that stuff, which is down, down. And lastly, you can't cross up his input because it's a down, down input. So your opponent can just be like, hey, check out this sick cross up. And Roshi can be like, no, unhand me, you filthy swine. Wait, can you call? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could combo off the non Smash version, right? Jib. That's crazy. Dog. <laughs> I actually did more damage. So, anyways, you get the point. That move is insane. Moving on. Lab coat. She got nerfed to hell and back. That is true. But that does not change the fact that she is better than a mother. Okay, anyways. That does not change the fact that EX Beyblade 
it's still one of the best specials in the game. Frame one, right? It hits behind her. You can combo off of it, right? If you if you're good at the game, right? You can combo off of it. You can get your meter back, and you know if you consider things like how she got you know the beam buff, right? You can do. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. You, you know EXP bleed or whatever. I forget what the combo is. It's been a while, but you see what I'm saying. Her reward is insane. She covers so much ground. It hits behind her, even when you know you spark up. She's still one of the very few characters that can deal with this incredibly well, right? Because the way Beyblade works. Oh no, that's crazy. Oh no, I got some buffs now. Oh man. Oh my god, I got these buffs. Whoa, look at that. She still turns around, right? I still think that this move is one of the best specials in the game because of just how much utility it offers and just what you can do with it and the threat of it. And of course, you know, it's even in the air, right? You, you gotta be super careful if you're super dashing and she's in the air because she can just Beyblade you, you know? Oh no, frame one. So this is my number nine on the list. Roshi was number ten for the record. Now let's move on to number eight, Zamasu. There's only one possible special that you could be thinking of. EX No, I'm just kidding. Flight. It's still annoying. It's still mad hard to deal with. Right? It's still ten seconds long. He still has, you know, frame one, frame two, invincible air dash. You know, slice into a, a full screen block screen, right? Okay, almost full screen, dude. Sorry. There you go. Almost full screen, true block screen. Sorry. We could only be almost full screen. So, yeah. You can see where the utility lies in this and how annoying it is to deal with. Because there's virtually no way to stop him. You know. You try to super dash at him. And hit some buttons, right? But... You just fly away, right? And they can't staircase you back to the ground because you're too damn high, right? Or if you're fast enough and you react. Oh, man. And remember, you could just say your super dash button and do one fucking button air dashes. That's crazy. Woo! I work so hard to avoid you. Yeah, this asshole move is still up there. It's still mad good. So this is number eight. It's the monster flight. It's still annoying. It's still dumb. It still gives them a bunch of options, right? And then you could obviously go into his other specials for it, right? So you can keep your opponent guessing. This is my number eight. This move that was number seven, I believe, was number ten on my last list. The boy sell. What changed? Well, it's still EX perfect attack. But the big difference here is that he is now fully invincible around I think it's frame four, right? So what does that mean? I'm glad you asked. So that means things like this can happen, right? Yeah, there you go. So as you saw, the key blast went through him. Because it's fully invincible now. Right, it's very powerful. It's very scary. His approach is literally just this into I'm gonna mix you. Right? That's his approach now. It, very similar to what it used to be, but now it's even better. And just look how far this move can hit you. It gets better, but wait, there's more. It's also invincible. You guessed it. In the air. Granted, not as much, but it's still there, ladies and gentlemen. Observe. <laughs> so, yes, this comes in at number seven. He's perfect. He's perfecter, I should say. Yeah, they gave him perfecter attack. So this comes in at number seven. He, he evolved from perfect attack to perfecter attack. And, uh, you know, I hope you understand my reasoning and logic behind it. Number six. You might have guessed it. You might have been like, hmm. I think I know who you're gonna pick. You guessed it. Barrier. This move nullifies so many characters' neutral and approaches. It's kind of insane. 
It's ridiculous. Yo, comic, thanks for following. What this one move can do, and they even allowed her to do it on the ground now. Before, she had to be airborne. But now they buffed it to where she can do it on the ground just by holding the button. Now, the benefits of Barrier are as follows. You know, aside from being invincible, right? Uh, look at her meter. Why did you get a bar and some change? For literally doing nothing. God forbid you call an assist. Look at that. God forbid you call an assist that's a beam or a projectile. Do double barrier? Yeah, you're right. Oh my god. Let me barrier the chest you here real quick. That's insane. It, again, you know, it's it's so potent and she can also cancel barrier into other specials, right? Cancel into specials, into supers, right? It's offer is insane. Or like you try to go in, right? You think you finally catch her. And then you just get smoked. Alright, number five. Okay. Now for this list, I believe I did this for the last one. It does we're not gonna count your condition to meet the requirement for it, right? Because you know, go on special cancels, right? It's still mad strong. Being able to cancel a DP into anything is incredible. Who thought of this? I don't know, but once again, I thank you. Not not much has really changed. Or if anything, really. I don't think anything has changed to this, right? It still remained the same. The only stuff that Gohan really got was, you know, the, the, the fast fall stuff, right? Uh, uh. But outside of that, DP, special, legs, it's all the same. Not really much to say here. You know, maybe you want to look at the old video when I talked about it, but it's broken. It's stupid. You need seven bars, rightfully so. Blue Vegeta's EX command grab. It is invincible. Damn, that's crazy. It would be a shame if I got a full combo. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, Blue Vegeta, one of the characters that all of a sudden, for some reason, has invincibility on his EX command grab, right? Why? I, I don't know. It already beat Key Blast, but they said, MORE! MORE! <laughs> and of course, you know, it, it may cost half a bar, but that's negligible because if you do land it, right? You get a full combo, you know, Big Bang buffs, right? Mm -mm -mm. Into an assist call, until whatever, right? You know, your opponent's like moving around, right? Trying to move, you know, play that good neutral. You just say EX command grab. They're like, damn, that's crazy. I couldn't even do anything about it. It's a full screen command grab that's invincible as he's coming at you menacingly. What do you do? And it's active what frame? Probably four. No, it's like six or something. So it's pretty fast. But point being, yeah, it's strong, costs half a bar, it's full screen, it's in fully invincible, as it says. You got a combo off of it, you get a meter back, right, with these big bang extensions on top of that, dude. It's just, uh, the world is your oyster, you know? Alright, number three. Now, you're probably wondering who is number three. Well, I've got some news for you, alright? Number three is Gotenks. We'll move. EX Beyblade. Well, you're probably thinking, well, why would you pick EX Beyblade? You can super dash it, right? That's not that big of a deal, you know? That's where you're wrong. Because EX Beyblade can be mixed, right? You can cancel it into other supers, for example. So you can do Beyblade, punch, you know, that, Key Blast, into punches. It's insane. Why did they allow this? And then you can cancel it again. So he essentially gets four specials, right? Ooh. Ooh, you can go back at the Beyblade if you want to just be annoying, right? Beyblade, Key Blast, punches, now you're plus, right? You can do Beyblade, Key Blast, punches, into punches again to be pluser, R, Guilty Gear, right? This top three move. It's fast. You can cancel it even on whiff, right? That's the beauty of it. You don't even need to hit your opponent. 
So, oh, I'm just going to super dash at him, right? Because, you know, that's the answer, you know? Because when they do Beyblade, it loses, right? Oh, man, that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. You got hit by punches. Damn, that's crazy. You got hit by punches. You know? It's absurd. But you're never in a safe zone. It's avoidance is crazy, right? It always keeps you guessing. What are they going to do next? Oh, but you can 2-H it. Yeah, yeah. Good luck hitting me, bro. Good luck hitting me. Everything is sounds good in theory, but in practice, it's completely different. Yeah, so this very potent move, you can use it as solo mix, right? It, it beats 2-H if you time it correctly. Bro, I know you can do this. I There we go! So yeah, as you can see, you can mix with it. It's, it's not the easiest. It took me a couple tries, because I'm not a Gotenks master. And if you drag them up, you can confirm it to beam, right? Because <laughs> that's what he needed. <laughs> it, it does so many things when it shouldn't. And if it hits, you build all your bar back that you spent, plus more. You do at least 3 to 4k damage. It's a ghost Oki, right? It's, it's just terrible to deal with. Awful move. I don't know why they did. They gave it to him, but here we are. All right. Number two, you're probably wondering, who could we put in as number two? As long as you didn't hear them in the background, you probably heard them in the background talking. And if you did, you didn't hear shit. Okay, yeah, but and clear. We have you guessed it. Hit stance was already strong, right? Get access to that. It was already a very potent buff move, you know. But they sat at home and thought how do we make this better well what if you could cancel stance into any special because he needs it right oh man you know what if we let him just do his ground dash right that's invincible to project out but he also ends up in stance like who thought of this i need to die I, i'm legit sitting here wondering who thought of this? And you could hold this, and then you could go into command grab, right? You could do stance, teleport, hold stance, and then you can go into... Bro. That was super annoying. Because hits will just be zooming around you now. And you don't know what they're gonna do. Maybe they're gonna go into stance. And use, you know, the reversal, right? Maybe they're just gonna punch you in the mouth. Maybe they're gonna cross you up. Yeah, you, you don't know! It's very annoying to deal with. And on top of it all, on top of it all, remember, it's invincible. They, they just be swinging wildly, dude. And then they just get dubbed. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you put your opponent in a block string and then you just do this and then you just rip your hair out and you might as well just explode. Because that's what's going to happen to you anyway. Now, moving on. Who, who can be number one? Drum roll, please. Shut up, Twitch fellas. Don't tell the YouTube bros. Shut up, Twitch fellas. Shh. Shh. Who can be number one? He was number one. He was number one. That's right. If you guessed GT Goku, you are correct. GT Goku is the best. We all know why. I recently put out a couple of videos. If you haven't seen them, you could, you know, I think there's like a little tab up here where you could like put a little message of like what video you want to advertise because it's super meta gaming and it's like optimal, you know, GT Goku broken, whatever. Yeah, reverse comment on me, huh? We've seen why it's stupid, but might as well show you again, right? Talked about it before, but now we're going to talk about it again. So, this move is fully invincible, right? For some reason. So, that means he doesn't care about anything, right? It, it just, it, he's the best. Takes it 11 frames for him to be invincible, right? So, it's essentially the range of a Vegito 5M three times that are all invincible that you can convert off of, right? And you get a full combo, you know, you have a great time. Everyone's having a good day, you know, except the person you hit. You get the knockdown. Amazing. This is impressive that he can do this. I am actually amazed that they sat down and they gave him not one, not two, 
but three fully invincible one of the best movement option moves in the game that you could cancel the landing recovery if you just decide to do another special in the air and of course you can call assist to make it more annoying right he doesn't have to play neutral even wawa realized how broken this was and that one of the recent videos of him versus gropus right they're playing and wawa is literally just doing this all oh, he's doing and grow up is just like damn that's crazy well i don't know what to do Yo, thank you for the four months ash so this is the top one most broken move in the game for its invincibility its range its utility everything under the sun annoyance being able to convert so this is the top one move in the game thank you for watching I you hear that You hear that? It's the top zero move in the game. What well, one to arguably rival reverse Kamehameha? Who could it be? Who can rival the rat? But none other than another rat. If you guessed Nappa. As number zero, who can rival the rat with his own rat? You found the secret hidden option. You're probably wondering, why Cyberman? Well, remember, Cyberman lives through key blasts, lives through beams, lives through assist, right? The only thing that can destroy him is a physical hit from the point character. That's it. And you thought it was going to be someone, but it was me. Deal. So let me show you one of the changes, right? Let's just say you do a long combo. You get the hit. You could now do this. I'm going to use GT Goku just because he's faster. And I'm going to do this just because it's faster. And that, that forced the restand, by the way. Because you saw the combo counter reset. He went up, right? So you get to do mix. Uh, I'll probably have a Twitter clip just showing the mix because I'm not a nap of God. I have too much hair, as you can see. So I could never be a Nappa master. But yeah, you saw I got a bar meter for key charging, right? I got an extra super, which gonna do more damage than you hitting buttons right especially at the highest hit stun where they'll flip out if i throw in extra buttons it forces a restand so you no longer need to use an assist right it's insane i i was sitting down thinking about it like cyberman is pretty crazy it was already insane but now it's captain insano i was like this might be able to rival GT Goku. I think undoubtedly these two are the best specials in the game because Cyberman acts independent from Nappa, right? It's an independent entity and the moment it hits you, it's just gonna keep comboing. The Nappa can confirm off of it. So I think this is top zero. Top zero and top one to me are relatively the same, right? They're both broken, absurd. You can have so much utility with them that they shouldn't even be in the game, realistically speaking. The way they are right now, they shouldn't be in the game. There's no reason for them to be that strong. But here we are in, what is this, like, season patch five, I guess? Season five patch, air quotes. There you have it. Those are my top 10 top 11 actually if you really think about it i have a couple honorable mentions that we're gonna go through because i know some of you are like what about this what about that i'm not gonna spend too much time with them because they are honorable mentions so let me just switch characters real quick all right ginyu force see the interesting thing about me again honorable mention for ginyu force is it's a command special like you just hit s for it right but there's also motions behind it okay so it's in a weird place where it's 
both things, right? You can do quarter circle back, quarter circle forward. You could call him a neutral, right? We've all seen players, you know, like Axe Ice, you know, Garlic Bread. Do some crazy shit with the Ginyu calls, right? Honorable mention special here because of just how much they give Ginyu. Uh, yeah, Ginyu calls are still very powerful in this game. All right, moving on. Who's next? Who's another honorable mention? Baby. All right, there's a couple things with Baby, right? Now, 6H is a command normal, right? I'm putting a little bit of asterisk on this. I said this only applies to the point character, but it's an honorable mention. Is It's worth mentioning that you can roll a tag off this and get true mix, right? You've seen it in matches before. It's a, it's a command normal, so it's not really a special move, but I think it's special enough to warrant this. But Baby also has something else that is unique to him, right? So, Baby steals, right? Takes a character, can use their assist. This is very volatile though, because sometimes there's characters that give you bad assists, you know? It depends on who you steal, but it's still an honorable mention. So Baby's on here twice. All right, moving on, we have Beerus. It's straightforward. Beerus kicks, leaves you plus six. You can solo mix off of it, right? You can bait reflex with it. You get, and if you do get the hit, they explode. It, it, it does a bunch of damage, right? If I can land this, I'm not a bait, I'm not a Beerus player. You know, I could have done more, but you get the point, right? It's like 4.5k probably if you do a full combo. Into knockdown, into whatever, right? And you can also just do stuff with this in the neutral, right? Cancel it, you know, you could throw it out. If it hits your opponent, you can obviously super dash from it, right? If you just kick it. So it has a lot of uses. It's more than just the mix and being safe and being plus. It just has screen presence as a whole. You know, you can do what you want with it because it gives you two orbs. And then one of the other honorable mentions is Bardock EX Lariat, right? It goes full screen, 14 frames, right? It'll win clash situations. So if we do this, Due to its priority, he always wins clashes now, right? Doesn't matter who it is, it's a 6 frame move that always beats clashes. But it gets better if you insta air lariat. Oh, sorry. If you do insta air lariat, you can get a combo off of it, right? That's another great thing about this. My Bardock is so nasty. So yeah, that's the other cool thing about it. Insta Air Lariat, you got a combo off of it. At least 4k. Some of the meter back that you spent, right? Pretty good. The only it's, it's the only big lacking thing is outside of its, you know, crazy horizontal hitbox. Vertically speaking, not that great. But it's fast. There's very minimal recovery on it. It does go full screen. A little bit further actually. But it has no invincibility, it does a V key blast, right? So if you find if the Beerus does this, you, you You're gonna get stuffed, right? So any character that can have a bunch of shit on the screen kinda negates this a little bit. Teen Gohan's in the similar boat, right? It doesn't go full screen. It goes what like three fourths of the screen roughly, but it does give him mix now. So Gohan's EX Lariat gives him 50-50s. I don't have the right assist for this. I guess I could use Bardock, huh? This is true, by the way. Oh, I just missed. Yep, and then if it hits, you burn an assist call, but it's not the biggest thing in the world, right? Like, oh man, that's crazy. Anyways, and then you, you know, you super dash from the confirm, right? So, burn an assist here, whatever. You still get the confirm. You get 3.6k damage into the knockdown, into them being in the corner. It's insane and it's absurd. They gave a roughly three fourths of the screen move. Yeah, uh, maybe a little bit more than that, like 80% of the screen. Lariat. 
move. And I don't think you can 2H this because it's not considered airborne. Yeah, this is not considered airborne, so you can't 2H it. And, uh... I guess I'll throw Gogeta Lariat in here because it's still a pretty potent move. Goes through assists, goes through projectiles. You take mad damage and you explode, right? I'm kind of torn between EX Lariat and EX Flip Kick as they're both super strong. But this move used to be in my top 10, but now it's just an honorable mention. Kind of crazy to see where the game has gone from then to now, huh? But anyways, these are the special moves that I think are broken in the world. Well, there's two that I think are broken. The others are very strong, right? If you think I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. If you think other moves deserve the better spot, please let me know. I think I missed something. Put it right down there, and I will argue with you until the sun comes. Thanks for watching, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Take it easy. To the next one.